Ryan has been yelling at me all day because he wanted to do the homework and read ahead about what I wanted to talk to him about here. Are, are any of you guys out there, are you old like me and Brian? How are your glasses, Brian, for, for seeing stuff? Like, do you do that? Do you take... <laughs> I, I do this a lot. Or sometimes, like, I'm going to start carrying around a selfie stick. I got we... this one. I do this a lot when I pull my phone out. I put them up because that's... Should what... we... Sometimes we I do, do the... this. This doesn't work so well. Should we do the intro first before we no, start talking no. about glasses? I don't know. It's too late. I'm into it already. We can just... We'll see what happens if we just cut into an ep. And I know you sit a little closer to your monitor than I do. I think I've moved mine back a little bit. I I'm trying. I'm reaching out like I can measure, but I, everything's wrong. I can't. I can't touch it. It's about arm's length, but I don't have big, long, gorilla arms like it's you true. do. But I went for an eye exam last week, and last week it must have been last week. And I know I need. Well, I call them bifocals, but I don't think we're supposed to say bifocals anymore. There's bifocals, trifocals, and there's progressive. But I've been I've been reading all this terrible stuff. I'm used to buying these cheap glasses from the internet where I spend 20 bucks, they give me a pair of glasses, I can sit on them and break them and order another $20 set of glasses, and that's fine. But I keep reading that you have to buy good progressives or else okay. you can't, you just can't use. And by, hey boy, when I read this on Reddit last year when I was researching this, yeah, you could get on the internet and spend, you know, $100, $200 on lenses plus your frames. But they were saying, no, no, you have to get these really nice ones. They're like $2,500 for lenses. Wow. And I don't know what... And eye insurance is terrible. I have no idea what it actually covers, but this just seemed like a daunting problem, right? This just seems... seems what if like I hate them? What if you spend $3,000 on glasses and you hate them? Yep. And the eye doctor was explaining some of this stuff to me. And I guess the ones she said were the nice lenses are not nearly as expensive as what I thought on Reddit. But I figured, well, I'm just going to go home and I'm going to see what I can learn about ordering progressive lens. I've been using zenioptical.com for like 15 years, it feels like now. And this gentleman, he's not on our podcast, this guy. He should have been a guest. He didn't return our call. Wait. How did you call it? Do you know his name? Well, he's got an agent. The eye doctor didn't tell me this, and I didn't think to ask, and I didn't learn about it until I got to, like three steps into ordering glass. They're telling me about near range, mid range, and standard progressive. Did you have any idea that there were different? These are all the same brand, all the same lens quality, but the optics are different. The optics are different. No, when I when I last saw my eye doctor and I complained about it. He looked at me and he said, well, maybe it's time for bifocals. And I told him to sh shut his dirty, <laughs> his dirty mouth. So I, we, we didn't even, we didn't even get this far. He, he started talking about bifocals and, and that was it. That conversation was over. And I was like, I'll just take off my glasses when I can't read things. Well, do you know what? My, my complaint right now is I am at the point where I don't want to wear my glasses at my desk, but I also can't quite see what I want to with my glasses off. I'm blurry right now, and it's similarly blurry, just different. But I don't like it either way. I'm not happy. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm going to scroll down here. They tell you on these images, one of them's good for working on things that are within three feet. Then they say 14 feet, and then they say greater than 20 feet. And that, I don't know what that means. But this was the part where I found it to be interesting. See these little circles on the lenses here, Tubby? Uh-huh. These ovals? Yep. The purple is your distance. And the... That nasty... Yeah, why would they pick a yellow like that? Contrast. Mustard color is your close-up. I think so the near vision the ones for working at your desk are just a little bit of distance and a lot of close-up yep and the mid-range are a lot of distance and a little bit of close-up okay i ordered the three foot one. Oh, good i thought you were about to tell me that you needed to order all three and you had to you no. had to use them at the right time like when you're driving use this the, no use this, this is this true you're not gonna this is like a fancy set of reading glasses, I think. You would not want to use this away from your desk. You would pick okay. these up when you sit down and 
not this... use them. Like, you're probably not going to want to watch TV with the three-foot glass. You'd have to look through that narrow slit up at the top yep. to see the TV across the room. And even in the middle ones, they don't like, they recommend not driving in the middle ones. They want you to use the... Drivers. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That's really weird. But this is a whole other slice of this puzzle that I didn't even know existed until a few days ago. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm excited or not that this is... The, but I guess this means it's something you could tweak, right? You could buy... If I don't like these and I don't like the... I, I can have different sets of glasses around. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about having three different sets of glasses. Well, that's, I, I ordered the up-close bifocals because I'm not even sold on whether I want to use bifocals. Well, these aren't progressives. I'm say, okay. Anytime I say bifocals, I mean progressives. Cause just because they draw this with the distance and the up-close circles, the farther you look down, the more aggressive the readers are. Yeah. And the farther you look up, the better you'll see it changes. I'm not sold that I'm going to want to wear these most of the time yet. So I just ordered another set of, you know, this style, and I ordered the up close to try at my desk. All right. And they're at least two weeks away. I'm dumb. I didn't pay the extra, like, $4 for faster shipping. So You, you could have had them already. No, they didn't even finish making them yet. I only ordered them on, like, Friday and today's okay. Tuesday. And I, well, maybe they did. I didn't check my, check to, it could be in my spam. Who knows but probably but what i'm telling all you people on the internet here is that i don't know if these are going to be good i don't know if they're going to work but this is what i'm trying and i think it's worth trying you can let me know in the comments how stupid i am i wish i remembered the brand that the eye doctor told me were the good lenses and she said they don't even sell them there i have, should go somewhere else to get to wow get them. they must yeah. be they must be really good then that's yeah. uh they might be. That's a but huge chunk of their profits. I don't understand. But by the next time we do one of these live streams, I might be able to see all of this instead of having to squint. Th Tubby, was that more or less interesting than you thought glasses were going to be? I don't know. You you forbade me from even reading the links or preparing. So I did. I wanted you to be surprised. I didn't. I didn't have any... Oh! And I lied to everyone down here. Now that I'm looking behind the camera, the mustard color's for reading, just like I thought. But the purple is for intermediate vision. Okay. And, and the, the blue is distance. The light blue is distance. Yeah, the light blue is distance. That's what I assumed when I saw it. It was a good assumption. But I guess the glasses I got, more than half of them are for sitting at your desk. And I wish I could explain to you the numbers on the prescription. There's a whole column for the bifocals, and it's just a plus or a minus. What I didn't understand and what I did not ask Google correctly, like mine are plus 1.75. So is that plus 1.75 from nothing? Or is that like my my glasses are like minus 2.75 and 2.25 or something? So do you take the minus 2.5 and add 1.75 to it and then you end up at like, I'd be at like a 0.5 for my near vision? Or I know, right? I don't know. <laughs> And I'm, I'm curious about this. You have to schedule I, another appointment with your optometrist. Yeah, we'll go visit, and uh, I'll get an update on... I mean, she told me all kinds of stories. I, they're she not could, really... She should have been invited to be a guest on the show. Shirt. We'll call her up. We'll see if she <laughs> wants to come on and tell us why we're stupid. She doesn't even have to stick to the realm of optometry. No. She could, no. She could tell well, us she all did the it. ways. We hardly talked stupid. about eyes at the... Uh, and yeah, she did the a close. I I don't remember ever doing a close up vision test where they flip down a little card in front, right in front of you, in front of the machinery right here. Uh huh. And I don't I don't recall ever doing that before. But she flips it down. And she tells me to read the last line, and I am like squinting. There's like three letters I have to guess, and I'm like, this is not good. This is not good. But she says, okay, try it now. I'm like, well, crap. You should have done that first. It's perfectly clear now. I can read everything. But I'm going to report back in on December 3rd. December 3rd, yeah. I made that I up. Is that right? I don't know. In 30 days. It's not 30 days either. 28 Chris, days. when's the next live stream? I'll report back. I'll let you. I mean, I'll be wearing them. But you, can, you can ask me questions, and I'll let you know 
Maybe we'll have a terrible. special live stream just for... Yeah. You know what's even worse is when you're riding the, the electric wheel and you have to look at your phone, but you can't see it, and there's a helmet on and there's glasses on. You, you just have to stop. And yeah. There's no work in that with, with what I've got going on here. No. It's not happening. That's probably not a good idea anyways, checking your phone while you're riding. Well, sometimes I want to know how fast I'm going. But that's all I can tell. The, the How fast you're going is in numbers like this. But then the odometer is underneath it in... Little tiny... Yeah, so I can't see how far I've gone.